Good morning, guys. I am just headed to the doctor right now, and it is raining. because I haven't driven in the rain myself so I go to the doctor once a month right now uh, my OB soon I'll start going every two weeks like further along in the pregnancy and um, yeah my birthday was this past weekend and it was so fun um, Jim put together all of the baby furniture for me so our nursery our nursery is about 80% set up um, I just need some like finishing touches oh somebody asked me if I would do a like a baby room tour nursery tour for YouTube and yes absolutely I love watching those can I go yeah I love when I can go okay so yeah, I love watching those like nursery tours on YouTube, so I'm definitely going to do it, especially because we live in a one bedroom condo and you know, it's a small space and I managed to make a little nursery nook from very little space. I love watching videos to see how people you know, organize their space and especially small spaces. So yeah, I'll definitely do that once it's all done. The other thing is my diet that starts June 6th. So that's coming up in, I believe, less than two weeks. So that's exciting. And I'm I'm actually super excited for this for this game because it's the first time in a long time that I've been feeling fitnessy and back on track I am pregnant so I definitely give in to my cravings um, when I feel like chips I have chips when I feel like pizza I have pizza it's it, you know during my weight loss journey I was having the treat meal like once a week now with pregnancy it's like twice a week two and a half times a week the half means like it's just like a naughty little snack and not quite a meal but um so i am giving in to uh, to cravings but um now that i'm in the second trimester i'm eating more fruits and vegetables well i've always wanted fruits but i'm incorporating more vegetables um just more balanced and last week so it's been almost two weeks now that i've been back at the gym which has felt amazing because my body just felt so sluggish, so tired being so many months out of the gym. And um, like I would go for walks and stuff, but it's, I don't know, it's different when you go to the gym and you dedicate, you know, one full hour where you are, where your heart's pumping and, and you're sweating and stuff like that. You just, that hour does so much for your mind and your body. And I truly truly missed it and I never thought I would really miss it because I always thought that it was a necessary evil I just did it in order to like I would work out a little bit to, to tone and so that I could eat a few more calories and I just did it to do it and um, I've always known that it made me feel good after but you know missing it for these three over three months and then going back for now two weeks, I really, like, it's so apparent how much I've missed it and how much it just does for me overall. Like, um, especially if you suffer from depression and anxiety, just an hour workout a day or, like, I've been doing uh, four or five times a week. And it just, it just kind of lifts that, that's my weird of way, stay there. I see you creeping up. It's not even in your way. Yeah, it's just, it just lifts that kind of that cloud. 
There's never any parking in this lot. Oh my gosh, like it's in the middle of a day. Okay, so I have one choice and the person is over my line. I'm gonna try. One parking spot at like 10.45. Oh, I didn't. I'm really excited for this diet bet um, more than I have been for the last two or three diet bets because, um, you know, I, like before I got pregnant, I was still like kind of trailing off the um, momentum and the motivation and I was just like, yay, weight loss. And then I got pregnant and um, people wanted me to still host them even though I wouldn't be the one losing weight along with them, but I was hosting and I was participating, I was staying accountable, but still it was really difficult mentally to um, be gaining weight while everybody else was losing weight. Um, so I think right now I'm in like a great place where I feel back in the healthy lifestyle again and I feel like like I started feeling like the old gen a little bit because I was putting on so much weight, but just even though I'm gaining weight, just eating healthy and exercising regularly has helped to put me back in that mind frame of I'm the new gen, the one who is fit and healthy and all that jazz. So um, I'm really excited about this diet bet because I finally, after probably a half a year or more, probably since my wet, so since September, since my wedding, I feel excited and motivated and pumped and um, yeah, so I'm really excited. So if you want to join with me, um, I'm going to leave a link in the description box that you can just click. There's also a link in my Instagram bio if you follow me there and I would love to have you join with me. We do like support and motivation daily inspiration we share workouts and recipes and all that um i've explained it to you guys before but in case there's anybody new here who doesn't know what the heck i'm talking about about a diet but if you click the link it, it'll explain everything all the rules what it is and all that stuff oh and the second we reach 300 players i'm giving away a 50 dollar gift card to amazon.com so you don't want to wait to join because it doesn't matter if it's before the game starts after the game, as soon as we hit 300 players, I'm giving it away. So if you're in that 300 player, like you don't want to wait till there's like, if you wait till we're past 300, you won't be a part of those people that will be entered to win. So yeah, my appointments right now starts in one minute and I've got to cross a parking lot with lots of rain and no umbrella. So my hair is just going to get frizzier than it already is. No problem. The scale said I was 215, five pounds more than my home scale says and the lady was so nice she's like oh it's your clothes it's breakfast so she was trying to make me feel better but i'm just by it so i am touching here okay up to here it's good most of it is was already there <laughs> where like i had this soft skin yeah but that's it's fine you get dressed up to here so this is like measure about 20 almost 20 21 weeks perfect so this cloth is very good now we're gonna listen to the baby. 
little bit of pressure, okay? A little bit more pressure here. It's cold. Beautiful, nice. Looks very good. So no issue, no concern, everything looks good, we're just going to repeat the ultrasound. So just repeat the anatomy scan or will I still have to go uh, uh, after? Yeah, she's probably going to repeat everything. So right, but I'm saying do I have to go like every month? No, or no, probably, oh, we'll see. Probably okay. it's fine and you don't need more follow-up, but we'll listen to her advice. If she recommends to do another one, then it's fine, no problem. Okay, so but if, mm -hmm. if the umbilical cord is at the end like you say and it could be a small baby towards the end what like like what happens we just need to keep an eye on the baby more the baby growth so if this is the case sometimes we need to do more ultrasound especially at the end of the pregnancy that's about it but if it's small like sometimes looking at it, it what's yeah sometimes when we see the growth start to be an issue and we feel outside is better than inside then we, okay. uh, we recommend delivery okay we're talking about possible yeah, a yeah. chance of delivery after 38 weeks or right, so. right right so sometimes we keep an eye on the baby and when we feel like yeah placenta they're getting really older the baby is not getting enough nutrition yeah then, we recommend delivery. We're okay. talking about normal delivery. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not saying that's going to be the case, no, no, but yeah. we have to I just want to, because I have Yeah, no, delivery. that's the worst case scenario. So nothing serious oh. whatsoever. Before I forget, because I always forget to ask questions. Um, I, I try to sleep on my side. That's okay. But my back... Like, I ache and I want to move to my back, my front, and I read everywhere that you can't sleep on your no, you back. No, can't. you can't. You can't. You just use pillow to support your, you know, your side. Sometimes the ligament pain can be an issue yeah. when you lie on one side, but it's safe. It's okay. I can sleep on my back. Absolutely. I read that, like, the baby doesn't get off. No, that's not true. No. And, how, and my stomach? Is it okay? It's hard. It's just uncomfortable for you to at this stage to sleep right. in your stomach. I recommend to put pillows in the side. Yeah, I kind of. It. I yeah. kind of lift my legs yeah. so my belly kind of shows. Listen, any point. position comfortable for you is okay. okay. All right. Okay, sweetie. Thank so you said we're gonna contact you. Okay. Okay. Thank you. So I'm back from my doctor's appointment, and I'm not quite sure how much um, I caught on camera. But what the doctor was saying, but she said the results of my anatomy scan, the baby seems completely fine, healthy, growing perfectly. But the tech did notice that the umbilical cord looked to be attached at the end of the placenta rather than the middle. And I forgot what that's called. And she said it could totally be fine or she could totally be wrong. But if it's the case, uh, the baby could possibly be smaller at the end of my pregnancy like not grow as much by the end of my pregnancy and so she wants to send me to the hospital to just check like do a double check even though I guess you'd call this a triple check because I've already gone for two anatomy scans so I'm going to the hospital they're gonna contact me and um, see if that's the case if the if the umbilical cord is in uh, the proper spot or wrong spot or whatever and then I asked her, so if it is at the end, and it is a smaller baby by the end of my pregnancy, then what does that mean? And she's like, worst case, we have to deliver the baby earlier and care for it in the hospital a little bit. So I guess, you know, it sucks because you, every mother wants just the perfectly smooth pregnancy, nothing harming or risking her baby, but there could be so much worse. So I'm, I'm good. I'm happy. I'm positive. Um, I just think that my baby is extremely uncooperative in the womb and does not show the tech proper things. And I'm not sure if this baby is aware that his mom is an Instagrammer and YouTuber and it needs to be camera ready at all times. So I don't understand what he's doing. But anyway, so the main thing, I'm glad to hear that the baby's fully developed where it should be right now. And that's what I'm happy to hear. So um, when I get called to the hospital, I'll deal with that when I get there. And I'm just going to stay positive because I'm sure everything's okay. And if it's not, we'll deal with it. Um, so uh, I did not sleep a wink last night. Um, 
most nights I like I toss and turn get up to pee a lot but I do catch like hours like an hour wake up hour and wake up but I get sleep you know a few hours of sleep but last night I didn't sleep at all um my hip was my left hip was really really hurting like a little bit into my back and hip and I just was tossing and turning and could not catch even like an hour of sleep so I feel um I was gonna go grocery shopping and all these things but it's raining and I'm just not focusing so I needed to come home I'm gonna have some lunch and just take a nap probably the beauties of working from home I honestly feel like women who work until delivery you're heroes completely heroes like my sister takes the train an hour downtown and an hour back home every single day with her 30 plus week bump and her swollen feet and I'm just like wow like you're a hero so I have the beauty of being able to rest and relax when I'm not doing the greatest so I'm gonna do that and then what I'm gonna do is when I wake up from my nap I'm gonna just edit this and put it online so that hopefully it can go up same day which I've never done I always upload the next day so hopefully it can this vlog can go up tonight and that way I'll be all done and this evening after dinner Jim, Jim and I can just work out and I have some things to do for my sister's baby shower to get ready for this Sunday so um, that way my evening will be free and I won't have to edit tonight so I'm gonna say goodbye now I think this video is super long anyways as it is I hope you enjoyed spending the morning with me if you did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up it really really helps out my channel a lot more than you guys know and if you're not subscribed already be sure to do so and we will see you in the next video bye guys